Dubai, a city known for its luxurious lifestyle and towering skyscrapers, still seems to remain a safe haven for criminals, attracting the attention of law enforcement agencies worldwide. Among the notorious figures taking refuge in this glittering metropolis is Sean McGovern, the right-hand man of Daniel Kinahan, one of the leaders of the infamous Kinahan Cartel. But while people are wondering why notorious drug lord Daniel Kinahan is still a free man, the bigger question should actually be why his trusted lieutenant Sean McGovern currently remains at large. After all, it's not known for a fact just yet that Kinahan will be charged in Ireland, although he is wanted and files are being prepared. While for McGovern, the situation is crystal clear. A European arrest warrant was already issued over a year ago in April 2022. In this video, we'll dive into the details about Sean McGovern, better known as Macca, and his criminal record of service. How is it possible that McGovern is still walking around a free man, enjoying his luxury life? To fully grasp the gravity of the situation, we must delve into the background of McGovern and his association with the Kinahan Cartel. McGovern, originally from the Crumlin area, was once an integral part of the Byrne Organized Crime Group, being very close to its leader, Liam Byrne. McGovern is identified by the US government as an international drug baron who is responsible for moving huge amounts of cocaine. In recent times, he's considered to have become Daniel Kinahan's right-hand man. McGovern has been in a long-term relationship with Anita Freeman, also from Dublin. She was just a teenager when she began her relationship with McGovern, who was then the best pal of mobster Liam Byrne. Freeman has always remained close with Kelly Quinn, the widow of Byrne's murdered brother, David. David was shot dead during the Regency Hotel attack in February 2016. One man was killed and two others were wounded when gunmen dressed as police officers opened fire at a boxing weigh-in. The this high-profile event, attended by some of Ireland's most notorious criminal figures, resulted in chaos and violence. Prime target Daniel Kinahan managed to escape, but McGovern was one of the two men who survived a gunshot during the attack. The Regency attack marked a turning point in McGovern's criminal career and further solidified his bond with Daniel Kinahan. During the deadly feud that followed, they got very close and McGovern took on the responsibility of recruiting hit teams managing their finances, procuring weapons, and reporting back to Daniel. However, McGovern's movements since then have raised numerous eyebrows. While he was last spotted in Dublin in the summer of 2017, enjoying a lavish meal with Liam Byrne and cartel associate Liam Rowe, he has since relocated to Dubai permanently. The move followed the murder of Noel Duck Ed Kerwin in December 2016, a crime for which McGovern is now wanted but more on that later in this video. Despite an active European arrest warrant issued in April 2022, McGovern remains at large, seemingly untouched by Dubai authorities. Little surprise, he didn't make an appearance at his father's funeral back home in Ireland in November 2022. Garda surveillance teams watched the port of Ross Lair to see if the Kinahan cartel fugitive would return to his homeland while Gardy in Crumlin kept watch on Our Lady of Good Counsel Church in Drimna, where his father was laid to rest. However, McGovern was nowhere to be seen. The question arises, how can a man with such an extensive criminal record accused of murder and being an international drug lord continue to live a life of luxury and freedom in Dubai? The Dubai police and the United Arab Emirates have not taken action to extradite him leaving many to speculate about the possibility of corruption and bribery shielding him from justice. Dubai became the de facto headquarters for the Kinahan cartel, allowing them to operate relatively unimpeded. Despite initial appearances of cooperation between the United Arab Emirates and European police forces, concrete actions to apprehend cartel members including McGovern have been lacking. Anita Freeman, McGovern's longtime partner, also relocated to Dubai with him and obtained residency permits. However, reports suggest that she may have returned to Ireland, unable to reclaim her seized home on Kildare Road 219 in Crumlin due to its connection to the Byrne Organized Crime Group's assets, which were targeted by the Criminal Assets Bureau or CAB in 2018. Investigations revealed that Freeman had been paying rent subsidies into Liam Byrne's bank account 
further entangling her in the criminal activity surrounding the Byrne Group and the Kinnahan cartel. Salient detail, before Cab was handed the keys of the house, its fixtures and fittings, including the kitchen and bathrooms, were ripped out. Later, the house was sold to the Dublin City Council and stood empty for ages. Within the Kinnahan cartel, McGovern held a position of utmost importance. While residing in Dubai, he became Daniel Kinnahan's most senior and trusted associate. He played a pivotal role in managing Kinnahan's business ventures, and his close ties extended to other prominent figures within the cartel, such as Ross Browning, who has been associated with the organization for two decades. Browning also shared a childhood friendship with murder victim Gary Hutch. Hutch's murder in November 2015 is believed to mark the beginning of the deadly Kinnahan Hutch feud. The murder of Noel Duck Ed Kerwin in December 2016 further cemented the seriousness of McGovern's criminal involvement. 62 year old Kerwin, an innocent grandfather, was ruthlessly targeted and killed in a contract killing that was part of the ongoing feud. He was shot six times as he sat in his car outside his partner's house in Clondalkin days before Christmas. He had just dropped off his partner's daughter and granddaughter. It's believed Kerwin was only targeted because he was pictured alongside Jerry the Monk Hutch at the funeral of his brother Eddie Hutch. Gardy later confirmed Kerwin was not involved in organized crime and wasn't linked to any side in the deadly Kinnahan and Hutch feud. McGovern is alleged to have been present at the scene of the crime and suspected of issuing instructions to the shooter. The Irish authorities have identified him as a key figure in the murder and subsequent investigations. But there are even more serious charges McGovern is currently facing. In addition to the murder of Noel Kerwin, McGovern is believed to have played a key role in the attempted hit on James Mago Gately in April 2017. For the full story on this botched hit, watch our previous video. During the Gately murder plot, McGovern recruited West Dublin crime boss Peter Keating to provide a support network to Estonian hitman Imra Arakas. Eventually, Arakas failed to complete his task. McGovern is accused of directing the activities of an organized crime gang and participating in their criminal activities. It's alleged that he played a crucial role in planning and identifying targets for the Kinnahan cartel, acting as Daniel Kinnahan's advisor and managing communications on his behalf. If charged and convicted, McGovern would become the highest-ranking leader of the cartel to face legal consequences following the conviction of Thomas Bomber Kavanagh. However, the implications of McGovern's criminal activities extend far beyond Ireland. The Kinahan Transnational Criminal Organization joins the ranks of Italy's Camorra, Mexico's Los Zetas, Japan's Yakuza, and Russia's Thieves-in-Law. The U.S. authorities have also targeted him, accusing him of materially assisting, sponsoring, or providing financial support to Daniel Kinahan. McGovern was one of four individuals sanctioned by the U.S. Department of the Treasury alongside the Kinahan family members. The U.S. sanctions further highlight the international reach and influence of the Kinahan cartel and its associates. Nevertheless, last year, cartel patriarch Christy Kinahan suspected McGovern to be a snitch. Christy had concluded that one of his own had been feeding authorities with highly sensitive information relating to money laundering and other activities of the group. McGovern had come under suspicion from the Dapper Don, despite the warrant for his arrest being issued by Irish authorities. Although there is extensive evidence and charges against McGovern, his extradition from Dubai remains elusive. While the European arrest warrant does not extend to the United Arab Emirates, extradition can be arranged on a case-by-case -case basis through agreements between countries. The Irish authorities, including the Garda, the Department of Justice and the Department of Foreign Affairs, have made efforts to secure McGovern's extradition. However, the process has been fraught with delays and frustrations, leaving many to question the willingness of the UAE to cooperate fully. The situation has become so concerning that a senior Garda officer has been stationed in the United Arab Emirates, specifically in Abu Dhabi, to coordinate investigations into the Kinahan cartel and other Irish crime gangs based in the region. This is the first time the Garda has established a permanent presence in the Middle East, emphasizing the seriousness of the Kinahan cartel's activities and the need for international collaboration to bring them to justice. While there is still hope that McGovern will eventually face extradition and legal consequences, 
the prolonged delays and lack of action raise valid concerns. The case of Liam Byrne, another cartel associate who was recently arrested in Mallorca after living in Dubai, further illustrates the perception of Dubai as a safe haven for Irish criminals. After all, Byrne, who was also living in Dubai while he was wanted in the UK to face firearms-related charges, was only arrested after flying to Mallorca to meet with his family. So, the big question remains, when and where will key member Sean McGovern be arrested and face criminal charges? To be continued. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see our next videos.